Hello everybody, it's Mindy and well, I am back from Christmas break. I mean, you've had some videos, but I haven't filmed anything. <laughs> so I've been wanting to get to this one because this is my other Black Friday purchase um, and I haven't been able to show it to you yet. I'm excited to show you this one. It's a round drill diamond painting. So I'm excited for this one. This one caused me a little grief on Black Friday because when I went to order, at three o'clock in the morning, it wasn't listed. And went up and down the list several times. I freaked out and I couldn't find it, couldn't find it. It took them a couple minutes. They had to do some adjusting. They had so many paintings they listed at once that they had to do something with their website to accommodate a hundred paintings. So I went back a few times and there it was. So I was able to get both the paintings I wanted. Anyhow, long story, but I thought I'd tell you. This one is called Three Gnomes Gardening. It's a Susan Winget. I love my Susan Winget. And it's gnomes. How can a person go wrong with that? Now, these did all sell out, right? I mean, I think most of the Christmas or Black Friday paintings sold out. But go get yourself on the list to be notified when they come back in. They have also just done a whole bunch of restocks. Now, I don't know what all they're restocking. I don't know what they have up their sleeve with that. I cannot help you out. I do know this though. I did get a Halloween painting that was restocked. I just ordered that. So if there's something you really liked, just get on their list, get notified when it comes back into stock. As far as I know, these will all come back. Okay, so here's our little sticker you can put on your box or in a log book. This is a 19.6 inch by 15.7. So it's almost a 50 by 40, almost a 40 by 50. That used to be my sweet spot. That was the size I liked the best. Oh my gosh, I haven't done a 40 by 50 in a while. Well, I did one that was close to that. Oh, it was a little smaller than that for Christmas. But anyhow, let's get into this and let's see the toolkit. What do we have? Well, I'd show you if I could get it out. <laughs> it's fighting me. It's definitely giving me a hard time. Okay. Let me dump everything out over here. Okay. I got it. I got it all. I got it. All right. Here is my pen and my squishy. Pretty purple. Dark, dark purple pen. Love that. Gotten that a couple times. And then the purple squishy. We have our pink wax inside our heart container. Put the lid, put it on there, keep it all neat, dry, clean in there for you. We have our tray, which is the clear tray. Now, some of the newer kits here have been coming with a white boat. It's the same tray, but it's white. This one's the clear with the gold speckles and the stopper. We got a bag of baggies, if you like the baggies. We got a couple of multi-placers here. Four and a seven, the thin white ones. You know, I try to love the metal placers and they're just not the same as these. These are so thin. They don't cause me any trouble when I'm multi-placing. The metal ones, have, they just have a little thicker wall and I just can't quite love them. Anyhow, here is my washi tape. Oh, I think I've had this one before. Gold arrows on this black tape. Very nice. It's a nice full roll of washi tape. If you put it around the painting, around the glue on the edge, or section off, or you just use it for other things. It's a nice washi tape, okay? And here's my cover reminder. Yay, a cover reminder, and it's not a macaroon. This one's super cute. Look at it. Oh, it's so cute. Look at it. <laughs> I've seen people, they're posting their pictures, their collections of their cover reminders from Diamond Art Club, and I've seen a few like these. This is a little bear with a strawberry in the cute got the nice magnets on the back, right? Hold your plastic back. I love that one. That one is super cute. I like that. Yay, I'm thrilled with that one. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, that is the tool kit. You'll notice there's no tweezers. Tweezers will come with square drill kits, not with the rounds. All right, it's in a plastic bag. Let's get it out of the bag. I put all of my stuff right back in the bag. That's why all my cover reminders, all my washi tapes, everything are back in with the paintings in their boxes. 
<laughs> I have no collections to show you. They're all packed away. All right. We have the soft back canvas. It's called tarpaulin. It's a nice canvas. We have surged and scalloped edges here so it doesn't fray. Poured glue. I'm going to roll it backwards. We're going to get everything out of the inside. The rest of the goods are inside. We've got to get them out. So let's roll it and roll it. Okay. It's all rolled up here nice and neat. Okay, what's inside? What's inside? Let's find out. <laughs> okay, we have a little um, pamphlet. Tells you how to diamond paint, what's in the kit, some tips, some tricks. Talks about the Facebook group. Join the VIP Facebook group. There's always good information there. And there's always a discount code for the group. If you have not joined and this is your first time, I have a code. It is 10 off Mindy. Let's save you $10 on your first purchase. I get a couple dollars. Anyhow, after that, find your codes everywhere. Save money. Collect your points. That earns your money off as well. Upside down. Three gnomes gardening. Love it. Perfect. Here is our sticker sheet. This has a ton of colors, you guys. A ton of colors. I'm really surprised it has this many. Anyhow. <laughs> Um, three Gnomes Gardening, Susan Winget. You can put your start and end date here. Put this in a log book. Here's our size. Here's the picture. Look at them. Three Gnomes. They are gardening. I, I don't know. He's reading the instruction manual, apparently. He's got the watering can. And I don't know. He's got the seedlings. He's ready to go. <laughs> All right. It has 56 colors. These are individually cut and peelable to put on your containers. 56 colors for this. Wow, I wouldn't have thought that. Um, a, Bs are anything under 150. So under 150, we have three. 126, that appears to be purple. 114 looks like a red and 100 green. Ooh, red A, B, purple A, B. Ooh, this will be fun, fun, fun. Okay, let's look at it. Are you ready to, here, have a gnome. There he is. There's a gnome. Want to see him up close? Count his nose hairs, his mustache hairs, whatever. <laughs> nice and clear, right? Nice and clear. How about a mushroom? Would you like a mushroom? Yeah. Everything is super clear, you guys. Super, super clear. Love it. I'm looking for ABs while I'm there because I think there's a red AB too. There's a red, but I didn't see. Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, I'm bad. There's some in here right there. A whole bunch of them around this corner here and up here. Yeah, exactly what I was hoping for. Okay, let's open her up. Let's open her up. See, isn't this perfect? This is just a perfect size. I love this. These would be easy to frame. You could get a 40 by 50 frame. It would go right in it. It would be perfect. All of our information is down here at the bottom. All the licensing, the sizing. Got a legend on both sides. It takes up the whole side because it's a smaller canvas. And there's our cute, cute, cute gnomes. And they have a friend, too. I think they have a little robin helping them out as they're learning how to garden. Oh, they also have a friend here, too. They have a ladybug over here. Um, got some mushrooms. Got some flowers. They're definitely, they're studying. They are studying hard. They're figuring out how to plant this. How do we plant? What are we doing? I got the instructions. I can water. I got the plants. Here we go. <laughs> And he's on a ladder for some reason. Did he pick stuff? And I, may, I don't know what's going on there. Anyhow, super, super cute. I love it. Love, love, love it. How adorable. All right, let's get into our drills. I will show you the drills. Round drills. Let's see what we have here. All right, let's roll them. Let's start with a couple of creams. Same color, 746. Couple of greens. Oh, that one's AB right there. The 100. That's the green AB. It's like a mossy green color. A lot of it, too. I like that color. That's very pretty. 3865 is white. Well, almost white. Tans, creams, grays. More greens. Cream. There's one red, 3371, brown. Another green, tans and browns. This one is actually, is it gray? 
gray with a green hue to it is what it is. All right, we got that. What comes next, you ask? Another green and some more browns and a gray. Pan, taupe, gray, green. <laughs> I'm sensing a theme. Here's the red. That is the red AB, Aurora Borealis AB. There's iridescent coating on those. They pick up different colors. They shimmer. They shine. Sparkle very beautifully. Some more reds. Peachy red. Gray. Darker red. Gray. Purple. Tan. Brown. Tan. Gray. <laughs> and then another purple. Kind of have a lot of similar colors. Browns, greens. How about some pink? Purple. Lots of taupey, creamy colors, right? And purples. Got a lot of different purples, just not much of them. Gray, peachy colors. I'm looking for one more AB. There it is, the purple. It's a very light purple, like a very light lavender, lilac color. I say lilac. You might say something else, but I say lilac. <laughs> Anyhow, pretty, 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 pretty. All right, so we've got those three to find, green, red, and purple. So one is the green. It is down in here. No, it's not. That is T. That's not a one. Ah, oh, here it is. It's the really light color here. The really light. There we go. I jumped right to a, a different color, like this patch here and this patch here. That's the green AB. Um, there's some in here. Through the grass here and over here. All right, so let's just start with leaves. Leaf, 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 up this way. Um, dum -dum. Up here in the leaf, here, this whole plant, this whole plant here, do, 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 all the leaves coming out, not up the center, that gets a darker color. More here, coming out this way, over here. That's the green, that's kind of like all over the canvas, okay? Two is the red. We found some in this mushroom over here already. Look, the ladybug gets two. <laughs> two red AB right there. I don't think the can gets any. No, the watering can didn't get any. How about the book? Does the book get any? Yeah, the book gets some here and here. Like some highlights there. How about this mushroom? Yes. This mushroom gets some right there, right here, around this square there. Yeah, that's where the red is. Now the purple, there's only there's only a couple places that purple can be, right? And it is number three. So let's look here first. Nope. How about over here? Let's go to the big flower. Yes. Purple, 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 purple. Any up top? Nope. Just this main flower right there gets the purple AB. Isn't it cute? Super cute. That would not take that long to do. Um, like I said, framing it would be a breeze. It's a 40 by 50. It would probably fit in a frame almost perfectly for you. I love it. Super cute. Susan Winget is still one of my favorite, favorite artists. Love Susan Winget stuff. So like I said, if you like this one, go to the website, put your name down to be notified. They'll send you an email. That's how I got the one I just got. I got an email. I also got notified by about six people. <laughs> That knew I wanted it. <laughs> but I did get an email from Diamond Art Club saying it had been restocked. So you can do that and when they restock, you'll get an email and run. Go quick. Go get what you want. Okay? All right. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching. I hope you like it. Anyhow, I'll talk to everybody soon. Have a great day.